Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new food haul video. Hope you've all had a really good morning. It's not even nine o'clock and my Sainsbury's food haul is here for the month of May. I'm so excited to unpack everything, show you what I'm gonna be eating this month. This month for me, I don't know, like I'm really feeling like fresh salads and pasta and you know, really nice kind of like pre kind of like good weather food. Um, I, it's the 25th today and I just don't have anything good in my cupboard. So I'm really excited to say that my Sainsbury's food order for the next month has arrived. That being said, obviously I'm not expecting all this like salady stuff to last me like the whole month. I will obviously be going out and buying more bits. So my Sainsbury's food haul this month came to just £113. I usually spend around about 150 but because this month I'm going to be going to the shops in between a lot probably, uh, then yeah, I kind of like pared down a little bit. That being said, Sainsbury's did let me down. There were a few things that were out of stock that I didn't manage to pick up. So there were a couple of like microwave curries, which I was actually really looking forward to because they are just like a perfect like finish work late evening meal. Um, and there's a couple of um, packets of cheese that didn't turn up, which is a shame because I do love a good bit of cheese. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into what I picked up this month and um, yeah, show you what I got. Now before I get into it, just in case you don't know, I do shop for two people, so myself and my partner. Uh, we do one big Sainsbury's food shop a month and basically I've got like a big freezer out the back where I store loads of stuff, um, loads of like frozen veg and like meals and meal prep and all that kind of stuff that's all done and then this is just like my top up this is like little things that I think would be really useful things to go in the freezer to stock the freezer up all that kind of stuff so we got some toilet roll some bleach some body form the always was actually on offer so I got both um I got some baking potatoes some normal white potatoes I got some onions so these are the, like the like wonky veg version uh, from Sainsbury's so these are like little tiny onions uh, but only 65p for a kilo which I thought was amazing value got some milk got some little leaves these look really good actually some baby spinach some sweet corn some very nice looking spicy chorizo some garlic baguettes some spring onions cucumber some char grilled chicken slices these are just great for salads aren't they in wraps all that kind of thing really easy um cress does anyone actually bother with cress anymore let me know in the comment section caesar salad dressing i've got two packs of fresh pasta so this is the pesto and goat's cheese tortellini very very tasty Got some carrots, some peppers, some lemons. This looked really, really nice. So this is the couscous and feta salad from the Taste the Difference range. I thought that'd be nice to go on top of salads and things like that. Got some cheese and onion croutons, some pesto. So two tins of pesto, a big thing of stir fry veg. Some Nutella, I'm really feeling like I wanna make a Nutella cake. Then I've got some tomato and herb bolognese, one, two, three, four, four of those. I've got some Kit Kats, some twirls, some eggs, so 12 large free range eggs. Some brioche buns, some croissants. A big bag of frozen chips, some onion rings, Oh, these looked really good. Some Belgium style toasting waffles. Oh, they sound really nice, don't they? Got some medium noodles, some, some Greek style yogurt, some squirty cream. 
Uh, I got three packs of the coconut rice from Tilda, a pack of super noodles, some garlic and herb Kievs, some crispy sliced potatoes, some breaded chicken steaks, two minced beef and onion pies, three packs of mints. So these are the 20% fat ones. Ugh. But um, they are, you know, great for like... So these are great for putting in spaghetti bolognese. Some burgers. These are the taste of the difference burgers. These look really good. Prime cuts of British beef. They do look really, really nice. So really, really looking forward to eating those. Um, some onion bargees. Now the thing I love about Sainsbury's um, Summer is that they bring out a whole huge summer range and this year I can really stock up and put them in my freezer. So these ones are the lamb mint kebabs and honestly I absolutely adore them. Um, I get loads of these every year. They are so tasty. I've got three packs of them to start stocking up and definitely they go really well with salads, pasta, all that kind of stuff really really great um, alongside their kind of like party food so just a little bit of salad with some spring rolls some mac and cheese bites some goizola all that kind of stuff really really fab did get some toad in the hole and some tea bags as well um yeah so i am going to pop to sainsbury's today when i'm out in town i definitely have to get some cheese for my jacket potatoes i definitely have to go and get some um coleslaw there was no coleslaw where did my coleslaw go i don't know but didn't get any um so yeah where did my um potato salad go as well oh well never mind um but yeah everything else is here so i'm really really happy with what i got and for 113 pounds it's not too bad i think because i have stocked up like and got like a good stock of food in the cupboards already and we didn't really eat that much last month i didn't get like so excited about food i just felt like yeah it was what it was um this summer i think or this over the next couple of months i think i definitely am going to be enjoying my kitchen a lot more um so yeah anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did let me know whether you are on the side of crest or not and um yeah i'll see you all very soon bye guys <laughs>